we have been joined by Saurabh Sinha, uh, who is head fintech e-commerce and non-lending civil. Hello, sir. Welcome at ETBFSI FinNext Summit. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. And what are the global trends that you see with fintech industry? The oddest global trend clearly is buy now, pay later, BNPL, right? Uh, and that's true innovation because it's innovation again on multiple fronts, right? The credit product is not just very small ticket, but it is also funding multiple use cases. You can buy food, you can buy groceries, you can buy travel, right? So there are multiple use cases, but remember it's massive embedding through technology. So how do you get credit into the actual transaction journey when you're actually checking out your cart on an Amazon or a Flipkart? And that's what is the latest trend that's really scaling fast in India. I'm going to be talking about it in a very short while, but that's the hottest trend. And I think that India probably will very soon be the largest buy now, pay later market. Okay. And lastly, uh, the session which you uh, had today, and uh, could you just share some key takeaways from that? Sure. So uh, I think it was a very interesting panel discussion. Uh, loved the co-panelists that I had. Uh, but the theme itself was that all roads lead to credit, which is actually really playing out. I feel in India, fintechs are chasing more of an omni play, right? Which means that they want to be in digital payments, they want to be in investments, they want to be also in credit. And it's not, not just one credit product, multiple credit products. So they will do unsecured lending, they will do buy now, pay later, they will probably do a little bit of SME financing as well. And that's where a financial services entity starts to see you know, material economies of scale, right? And that's starting to play out. All of those insights really came out in the panel and it was uh, very insightful for me as well.